Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So, in light of me just being ready for it to be fall, I am wearing a sweater and we're gonna be doing an autumn kind of look today. My face is super, super like pigmented pink right now. Um, I think I'm fixing to start my period. I feel like I've been saying that for a while now, but I usually really, really break out bad before. So I went ahead and um, prepped my face. Already, I just need to um, put on a few more things with you guys. So I'm just putting my chapstick on. I got another ring light in, so it is a lot lighter. And today I'm just using my phone to record this because I bought two cameras and I totally have just been so busy I forgot to charge them. So we're just doing it with my phone and I have it up on my little ring lighting stand. So <clears throat> I have one more ring lighting coming in. So I have two LED lights that are like one's straight ahead, but like kind of high. And then I have another one um, towards the left of me right here. And then I have two um, small, well like an eight inch ring light that's holding my phone. And then um, a six inch ring light right next to it. And they're really, really bright. I'm just gonna get one more that's coming in. And I believe it's an eight inch too. And I'll have that one on the right side. So that way I could just have a lot of lighting. Um, I don't know, my house, not that it's like dark, but the lighting's just not that, it's, it was, the house was built in the 80s, so, um, I just need to, uh, you know, get some new light fixtures and stuff. Me and James, we have a lot of ideas and things we want to do, but I'm like rambling on, so you guys will get to see that whenever we start the remodeling process after the wedding, but, um, also, I don't know if y'all have tried these, but the, um, they're, uh, called... Life Aid, they have Fit Aid, Focus Aid, and they're just really, really good drinks. I like drink them all the time. HEB has them now, so yeah. I finally got my Tiffany's necklace in, so I'm loving my nails. They just go with it. But we're gonna be doing an autumn look today, so if you wanna watch that, then <laughs> if you wanna watch me put this face together and be able to cover up all this hyperpigmentation and all that good stuff, then let's just keep watching and we'll dive right in. Okay, so for starters, I'm just going to be putting some um, Germix on. Put that together. I've been wanting to order like some outfits off Wish because I feel like they keep on popping up on my timeline and I've really been wanting to see if their clothes are really good. So if they are, you guys, like message me down below and let me know. Um, I am... Hold on, let me fix that light real quick because it's like on my face from the window. Okay, it's still kind of there, but whatever, we'll just deal with it. So I have been wanting to try like an outfit from Wish, but I just don't know if it's very good or not. Next, we're going to be going in with the um, Coconut Wet n Wild Primer Green. Set this face. Then we'll be going in with the Dermalogica Active Moist Moisturizer. I love this stuff. It's great. So yeah, let me know down below if you guys have tried anything from Wish. I've been really wanting to try them out. My dogs are riding off phone with each other. Let me go check on them. Hold on. All right, you guys, I usually never start my brows first, but I thought we would try something different today. So we're gonna start with the brows and I'm gonna be using the Ardell um, brow pencil. So we're just gonna go in with that. My, and I did get my eyebrows microbladed. I know you guys already know that. So I just lightly fill in those sparse areas. went for one session I still need to get my second session so see the difference already
Okay, so for the eyes, let's put this up really quick. For the eyes, we are going to be using the James Charles palette. So, but first we'll be putting concealer on. Okay, so we are just blending in that concealer by L'Oreal. So next we're going to be moving on to the James Charles palette. Alrighty, and we're going to be going in with these three colors right here. I'm probably going to put in some black. I'm not too sure how I'm feeling. We'll see what we're going to do. Okay, so we're just mixing that color in. It is like a really pretty orangey tone and we're just blending that in really, really nicely and making sure it's just really, really blended. The only thing I will say is if you don't have a good, the only like downfall to this palette would have to be if you don't have a good eyeshadow primer or a good concealer that can hold these colors together. I feel like once you're on the second um, blending shade, it's just really, really hard to um, get the color to stay. I did get this um, basically like mixing primer thing from NYX and it's okay, but I'm probably just gonna buy a really good um, eyeshadow primer just to kind of give it more vibrance. I feel like once you're starting to like blend the colors together, they just fall right off. So that's the only downfall. Okay, so yes, we're just mixing. Sorry, I just had to readjust this. We're going to be taking that color and we're just basically creating a deep kind of a line. I don't know if you're starting to see it. Just bring it down. A little more. Okay, so we're going to be taking that middle color and just kind of bring all that through. Just blending it all together. Now we'll just be taking that white shade and patting that on the entire lid. Making sure it's on there really, really good. Everything's, oh. Everything's on there really well. seems to be on it. So we're going to be doing the same thing to this eye. I'm going to do this eye real quick and I'll be right back.
Okay, so I'm just coming in with that medium shade and we're gonna be darkening it up. Just darkening up this line. A little bit better. Okay, so we're just doing the same thing to the other side. Starting to really, really come together. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit darker shade now. We're probably gonna go in with the darker shade right next to the middle one that we were using. So this one right here. We're just going to be blending that right in to this crease. And we're just going to blend that out with some yellow towards the top. Right in here. Take some more of that yellow shade. Just soften all that up. show you all the yellow shade I'm using real quick. So we're softening it up with this yellow shade. Okay, so we're going to be going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Liquid Eyeliner. I'm really not a fan. I feel like it dries way too quickly. It's been sitting on the shelf for a while, but we're going to go in with a wing. So we sharpened this side, now we're going to sharpen the other. Alright you guys, now we can go ahead and start on our foundation. F1.70 Just putting that on our cheeks, like so. Then we're going to be going on with a, uh, with a, uh, and then we'll go in with the bronzer, the perimeter, face. We're going to do your makeup after, and I'm just going to bring it down. Give 
Okay, so now that we have darkened up underneath our eyes, we're just going to take some black eyeliner. Yeah, this is black. Okay, so we're just going to take some black eyeliner and um, do our lower and upper lash line. So let's start with the upper, just because I cannot stand having white underneath this part. I just like it really, really dark when I do do it. Now we're just gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero palette. I'm like panning on this because I absolutely love it. I pretty much just mix all of the shades together. And we're just going to pop that right in here. Okay, you guys, so. Sorry, I had to take my daughter to her room. Now I'm gonna be going in with this Tattoo Studio Brow Gel by Maybelline. Blonde. Okay, so we're gonna come in and I just do the ends and then I'll brush through. And it just kind of lightens them up. And gives them that like highlighted look. I think I said that in one of my previous videos. I just love when the brows look highlighted. Just okay, so now, now that we have primed them, we're just gonna go in with the Lash Paradise Mascara and just darken all of them. We'll darken each lash up. Let's take this off. It's just ugh. Okay, so let me get a clip really quick in my little. By the way, I got these at at home for like a dollar, and they they're like for um like kitchen stuff, and they're so much cheaper. Than having to buy like the acrylic makeup one so if you want to save a buck I would definitely go that route so I'm just gonna put some more of this chapstick on and then we're gonna put a red lip I've been really feeling red lately I don't know what it is I'm just obsessed with red so we're gonna go in with the Sephora brand and with the L'Oreal Paris red Okay, so we got one lash. We're just gonna be using our duo eyelash glue. And these are the wispy double ups. 